Hey, now, it's been um, four and a half years since the arena ran aground near Tauranga, and tomorrow a decision will be announced about whether the remains of the ship will be allowed to stay on the Astrolab Reef. It's quite a big decision. It is a big decision, but a second announcement is also due soon, and that's what's exciting the diving public, because it will declare the reef and its treasures open for business again. So Lachlan Forsyth is about to show you just what you have been missing. This is a journey no recreational diver has made in almost five years. And we're about to see something hardly anyone's been allowed to see in all that time. Hold on to your mask, have your snorkel in. But beware. This is Astrolab Reef, and this is what remains of the Rena. There's still some major pieces of ship structure there. One of the problems we have is either in the shallow area where it's very hard to work because of the, you know, it's in the white water effectively most of the year, or it's in the very deep area, which of course has, has depth issues. You know, the divers can only dive so, so deep. These images show just how much the reef has changed. Even in the last 12 months, much of the arena's debris has gone. Now, just a few pieces remain. Tomorrow, it'll be announced whether the remainder of the ship can stay here on the reef. But regardless of that decision, sometime next month, the exclusion zone around it will be lifted. Recreational divers will finally be allowed back. It's good from a diving perspective. It's been cleaned up a lot. Um, a lot of fish life around at the moment, and a lot of the hazards have been taken away. Though there's still a wreck, so you, know, you still have to be a bit careful. Marine life is everywhere. Immediately after we jump in, we find a school of blue Mau Mau, and then a stingray. Just below us is the debris field. You can see where the reef has started to reclaim the wreck. There are certainly tons of fish down there. Not to mention a few menacingly sized chunks of rusting metal. Understandably, after such a long time, interest in diving a spot like this is enormous. We've had a few customers come through the shop that are sort of but they're quite keen to stay away for a wee while and let the rush go through. And, and in my way of thinking, that's probably a wise idea. Um, get everybody out here on one weekend, it's, it's going to be a little bit of mayhem. Because this is such a fantastic spot with just so much to see. Kingfish, Mau Mau, Kawai, Snapper, um, in the way of what's left of the wreck. There's a few parts of the ship that are quite open, so you can actually go through and have a bit of an explore yourself. Bits of the bow section, um, bits of the double bottom, and um, little bits of the bulbous bow. But Astrolab Reef is basically in the open ocean. That means heavy swells, strong currents, and fickle weather. How do you manage that demand and safely reintroduce the public? This is a start. These guys are professional divers and locals, instructors and guides. They're here to familiarise themselves with the wreck, all part of a wider access plan for reintroducing the public. From a safety point of view, it's just giving people the right information before they come out here. Um, it's just a pamphlet, website, etc. But it's really up to the locals that have been out here and done these site visits to, to really promote that um, and promote that safety awareness. So, looking at the wreck, there are two sites recommended for diving and snorkelling. One, 18 metres deep, the next, 14 metres, the shallower parts of the reef. Then there's the much deeper stern section. At a maximum depth of 36 metres, it's definitely not recommended. Are there places out here that you would feel uncomfortable diving? For sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some, there's some, the main part of the wreck is quite deep, and if you're, if you're not trained to do, to do that type of depth, you shouldn't be doing it. So, the dive area will be patrolled. We're going to work with the Makatu Coast Guard, who provide a safety and information service. So they'll be on site on any day that they think someone might be out here diving or fishing and come and help them stay safe as well. There's two dive sites out here that are just going to make recreational diving possibly in the Bay of Mecca. Salvaging something from what was an environmental disaster. <laughs> 